Hi everybody, it's Nick, uh, just back from my morning walk, which was uh, lovely, albeit wet. But the thing I want to talk about um, is something that's triggered a thought around judgment, particularly judgment of our teenagers and the younger generation. So I actually saw a feed um, the other day, uh, it's about the village where I live, and it's about the discontent about some gangs of, of teenagers that are hanging around. Um, I think that you know, the police have been called at times to move them on and generally discontent with their behaviour and language and so forth. And um, I'm perhaps in the minority here, but uh, actually I, I really empathise with those teenagers. And the reason that I empathise with them is I used to be one and I remember it well. And I remember being um, part of a gang. We were a very large gang actually. It was a large village and a very large secondary school, maybe 40 or 50 of us. And we would meet up every single night without fail. And we had a, a truly wonderful time. It was a really special time in my life, actually. And we didn't have the gadgets and so forth that the kids have now. So, you know, our, our fun, our creativity, our enjoyment was, was being together. But the thing that really saved us uh, was we had uh, the most amazing youth club. And, and it wasn't just about the fact we had a youth club, but we had really fantastic youth leaders who really got us. They were, they were just, they were just fantastic. They were, um, they were understanding. They were empathetic. They would set boundaries with us. They could be strict with us, but they were hugely passionate about youth, about not giving up on people who, you know, were perhaps more challenging about really trying to, you know, get behind the stories they were presented with and, and particularly help uh, people from more disadvantaged backgrounds. And we, we had an absolute ball. We really did. We had so many different activities, so many different competitions, so many wonderful things we did. And I still bump into a couple of my youth leaders now in town. And it's really makes my heart sing to see them and to catch up with them and to talk about those days because they were really really special days and they really understood us and they really got us and what hit me when i was reading this thread was um one actually i i find it really refreshing and uh, good news to be honest that they want to be together because in today's society with all of the technology and the social media and so forth the the risk of human disconnection, um, social media and the dehumanising effect that can have and of our teenagers just, just not learning to create relationships and to you know, organise themselves in communities is it, it's really quite serious. So I really want to encourage younger people to socialise and to be together. Um, but the benefit that that these teenagers don't have here, and this will include my sons as well, is we don't have a lot of the facilities that I had when I was a teenager. So effectively, they have nowhere to go. They're probably bored. I'm sure they're being inappropriate. Um, and they're, they're kicking the heels, really. Um, but they want to be together. And I think that that is a natural part of being a teenager. And the other thing that also hit me is, you know, we think that this generation is worse than any other generation. And I think we forget because when I look back, honestly, we were not great. So I don't think I see any worse behaviour. I, I really don't. Um, and maybe I'm being naive, but I, I remember at 13 years old going to the sweet shop on the way to school and you could buy a single cigarette from the sweet shop for six pence. So this, this was the world I grew up in. Uh, I remember the police many, many times moving us on when we were hanging around and disrupting residents. Uh, and we would literally move on to, you know, fields in the middle of nowhere where we, you know, didn't annoy anybody and we could just drink woodpecker cider, smoke cigarettes and, you know, snog boys and boys snog girls, obviously. And I have no doubt, I have no doubt whatsoever that I told lots of people to fuck off. Um, and I, I'm not saying that... <laughs> You know that was appropriate behavior or my parents wouldn't have been completely mortified had they known which they didn't because teenagers are really good at making sure parents don't know everything but that was the reality of being a teenager and of pushing boundaries and of discovering who we were and what our place was in the world and learning from each other and experimenting and and just being and to, and, and just being together and i 
I am really concerned at seeing judgment at such a young age on these on these people, on these teenagers, and of perhaps, you know, are we really understanding their needs? And I certainly don't think we're meeting them. And I don't think the answer is to be um, fearful or to, you know, say, well, the police need to sort that out. I'm not quite sure what we expect the police to do. You know, w we as a, a community need to think about, well, where can they go? What can we give them to do? Because no, we don't want to be encouraging disconnection and isolation and labeling these kids and not seeing what's really driving the behaviors. We want, we want to give them the space to be together, to connect, to learn how to integrate into society. And that was, that was something I was truly blessed to experience as a teenager and definitely had a massively positive impact in my life. And when I see my youth workers now, they really, they, they just fill me with joy and love when I see them because they were kind of like surrogate parents. And definitely, you know, just the thing I saw at the weekend and what I'm seeing around me, I don't think we're meeting those needs. And I suspect that this is happening in a lot of places um, within our society. And we need to rethink the way we are supporting our youth and the facilities and the support we're putting in place for them. I, I really do think that. I might be in the minority, but <laughs> that's, that's not unusual. So I'll call it out anyway. And I wanted to share that in the hope that it makes somebody somewhere think a different thought, look at them through a different lens, through a more positive lens, and let's focus on solutions um, rather than the problem. And I hope that's of help. Take care. Bye.